Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Son of Mogef and I'm playing Minecraft today. Yeah, I'm having an issue with my colony survival. One of the mods I installed has updated since I last played it and it's it's broken. I've been trying to fix it over the last couple of hours, but it looks like I'm going to have to back up all my saves and then like reinstall it and all that lot. So f for now, I'm going to do a tour of the first world I ever made in Minecraft just as a, as a stand-in video. If I can get Colony Survival fixed tonight, I'll do what I need to do and then I'll do a video tomorrow or the next day as soon as I'm able to get it functioning again. So apologies to those people who have, you know, come to the channel for Colony Survival content. It's not going to happen. Not today, anyway. So, what have we got here? This is literally the first world I ever made. And I spent literally hours and hours and hours on it. Uh, I'm not sh really sure where to start. I've I, I'm stood here. It's not running particularly brilliantly either. The frame rate is really low. But, uh... If I come in here, like, this is the main floor. This is my dining room table, uh, and this is my ender dragon egg. It kind of looks like a chandelier, sort of, so that's why that's there. I've got uh, my bed. Let's just have a little sleepy sleepy. Yeah, lots of weird things that I've made over the course of several years playing this. I just realised there's no lever on the outside of this. I do have a back door here, I believe. God, the frame rate. Jesus. Yeah, so I think it is actually possible for me to lock myself out, which isn't awesome, is it? Not a great way to start. But, alright, so, yeah, this is the main level. If we go up here... We've got the storage level. It's not particularly... A f oh, there's a little kitty cat up here. Hello, little kitty cat. What are you doing here? <laughs> but yeah, this is just where I store all the various materials that I have. My God, the frame rate is awful. My apologies if it's choppy and weird in the video. The, the, the reason I... Uh, another one of the reasons why I'm playing this is because... I was asking people for just suggestions, things to live stream, and this came up. And then I haven't played this in literally years. So I this is a good test for me to see if it actually works. This thing you can see in the background here, that's actually an iron golem farm. It, uh, it literally farms iron golems and kills them and turns them into iron ingots. I don't know if it still works or not. Maybe... It's another one of those things that probably got broken in an update at some point, and I've never bothered fixing it. But this is my balcony. Up here, look. And cows and piggies and whatnot down there. On the next level up, I've got my potion level. Is where I literally brew all my potions with my nether wart growing up against the window so I can see it from outside. You know, for, for, for the reasons. I've even got a little, little infinite water source there in case I need to fill up some bottles. Up here we've got the library level. My enchanting table looks surrounded by bookshelves. And all the different books sorted by uh, by their enchantments. On the top, I think it's my beacon level, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you can see it here, look. It, you can also hear it going... Oh, there's also a kitty cat up here. Hello, little kitty cat. Why are you up here and not downstairs? Strange little thing. This big thing here, let me show you by going back downstairs. It's it. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, that's a thing that also took so long to build. This is probably going to destroy the frame rate as well when I come up here. It's supposed to be the Great Deku Tree. You can see he's got, like, 
the face of it. This is the great Deku tree from Ocarina of Time. And you can, hang on, let me just look at, all my kitty cats and doggos are down here. This this one is um, defying gravity, but it happens. So yeah, that's my great Deku tree. It's, um, it's a mob spawner. Hidden up in that section is an area for monsters to spawn. It's completely, completely dark. And if I come up here... Oh, the water was on, so nothing could spawn. Hmm. That was very clever of me, wasn't it? If I leave that for a couple of seconds, it should start spawning monsters up there. I see a lot of blue up there. Is there a leak... There might be a leak up there. That might also explain why the frame rate is bloody horrible. Okay, so you see, look. He fell down. And they can't see me, so they can't attack me. So there's definitely some monsters up there. If I turn the water on... Which appears to have, uh, is this switch wrong? Huh. Is that... Oh, no. Yeah, there is still water up there. I might have to fix that at some point. But the idea is, anyway, that monsters spawn up in that black area. Dark area, I should say. I can see something moving up there. Are there monsters up there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, anyway, the the idea is that enemies spawn in the dark area and get pushed down here when I turn the water on. Like I say, it might be broken. I'm just going to chuck this in my disposal unit, look. Because that's also a thing that I have. This is just one of the farms that I was experimenting with. Oh, I can hear the zombie. Yeah, it looks like I've got a leak. That's fine. That might also explain the frame rate, because falling water doesn't help. There, so this is just a little farm that I made. If I push this, look, I don't know if I can back up in time. The water comes out and breaks all the crops and pushes it down. And then I can turn it off and just walk around here, look. Uh, I keep pressing shift to run, and it crouches run all the way around here look and just collect all of the oh my god there's a lot you, you, wait, you i mean you can see look like there's there's a lot of it oh oh dear hmm maybe that wasn't the wisest idea because now i've got an inventory full of wheat and seeds and stuff that's all right, I'll go find a place down in my little kitchen that I can put it put it in. Is there a zombie in here? Die. I do have a little basement area just here with my kitchen. Again, this is an underground farm. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just dump it in here for now. Uh, which button is it? There we go. Do, 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 right. Cake in the middle, look. And all the different types of food. Pumpkin, pie, and cookies, and bread. This is spuds. There's a, oh, a, a cooker back there that you can't really see. If I put potatoes in there, they'll come out here cooked, but this is full, so... Yeah. There's that, and there's soup, and there's... Oh, excuse me. The meat here, look. Beef, chicken. Uh, what's that? Pork, fish, melons, and golden carrots for some reason. Regular carrots and golden apples. And I've got so much food, it's unreal. Uh, and, and here's where my slime farm comes out. I've got bloody zombie flesh on me this is another thing i spent ages doing 
down in the depths of the mine just below the castle is a thing that will spawn slimes the big ones and then it breaks them down into these little ones and pushes them up a series of ladders to here so i don't have to go down there to collect them it'll just push yeah it'll just push slimes out here every now and again for me to kill also works as a sort of mob spawner uh what else have we got over here i've got my various farms probably most of these not working but this is a sugarcane farm and uh, once they grow to a certain height a machine will detect that and break them and they'll flow down this water i don't know if you can see the hoppers back there and they'll end up in here i think this one's double-sided is it not it uses the same mechanism yeah, it does. Yeah, the same mechanism to charge two of these. So I've got plenty of um, sugar cane for, like, books and whatnot. Not sure what that chest is for. And here's another version of it. Again, every few minutes or so. I think that one's a detector where this one's on a timer. Oh, you can see that some of them have got caught on the edges there. That didn't used to happen. Anyway, they get knocked off, they fall into here, they go through there. Is it not picking them up? Huh. That's interesting. Oh look, <laughs> there's an ink sack in there as well, that bunch of sugar cane here. How have I done that? Sorted this out. Oh, it looks like it's got jammed up at some point. I don't want to fall down there because I'm not going to be able to get back out, but that's a thing I'm going to have to fix that's got broken at some point. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you just heard it go off. That knocks the sugar cane down and it floats. Like I say, it's broken at the moment. What else have I got? Yeah, you've got a melon farm here, look. Again, this is on like a timer. It'll go off every now and again. I don't know if this works either now. I've got 29 there. If I push this... That will break the melons and it should go... Oh, did that one not break? I think it just instantly regrew. Uh, I, I mean, I guess this one's broken as well. Everything is broken. Nothing works. Don't know what's up with this exactly then. That's fine. These are all things I'm going to have to sort out. This a cactus farm. And it's such a simple idea of how this works. Like when the cactus tries to grow here up one it can't so it breaks and it falls into the water and ends up here jesus bloody christ that's a lot of cactus i don't know oh you just kind of saw it happen there but i don't know why i wanted so much green dye which i think is the only thing cactus is good for at this point but yeah over here, we've got a pumpkin farm, which is the same as that melon farm. If that one's broken, I'm assuming this one is. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's pushing the pumpkins into the water anymore. Let me have a look. Also, weird amounts. Like... Uh... Hmm... How do I combine stacks here? Anyway, let me... I'll chuck these into here. And they should... Yeah, slowly get pushed their way up here. Oh, these are carved pumpkins! That's why the stacks wouldn't combine. 
Maybe an update <laughs> changed the pumpkins into carved pumpkins? I don't know. I don't know how that works. This is a tree farm. And it's exactly what it sounds like. I don't think I've got an axe on me. I do not. Do, do I have one, like, in a chest here somewhere? I may have. Weird bunch of things to have. Huh. But the idea is you put a bunch of saplings down like that. You turn this on. And that shoots bone mill, which makes them grow. You can then cut them down. And I think... There's, there's a... A rail cart down here, which may be stuck. It may also be broken. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, it goes around and collects all the stuff and puts it in here for me. And it can collect it off the ground above. So that's pretty cool. This is, um, oh, this is my charcoal farm. Jesus Christ, look at all that. Not a lot of charcoal in there, but if a... If I am correct, I can do this. I can throw that in there. And it slowly drains through into a mechanism back here. Look, which makes charcoal. And, in, and it kicks it out to here. This should go up in a second. Should. Yay, there we go, like that. So as long as there's wood in that box up there, it will make charcoal and spit it out. What have we got else here? This is an area that I built for um, villagers. Each villager had their own little bit. I think, oh no, the villagers haven't despawned. You can... Um, oh... Oh, I tried to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I, I can't remember how you interact with the villagers now. But you can see, look, the, their amounts are there. But so much has changed with villagers over the... Oh. I can interact with that one. And not these ones? That's weird. There's three emeralds for a bookshelf. It's also got all these other ones, but that's the one I decided to note down for the reasons. I guess the same is true over here. I thought they they would despawn when like versions changed, but apparently, apparently not. Huh. Back into the main area of the castle here. Let's go and check my iron farm. Where is my bread? Oh god, did I throw my bread at some point? God damn it. What I I pfft. cool points for anyone who noticed me do that. <laughs> just Just every now and again some slimes come up here. I guess I could just make more. I've got plenty here. Um it's just like that, isn't it? Yay! There you go. Problem solved. Let's, uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to go check the iron farm. Let's go and do that. So many things. Oh look, this is what I forgot to mention this. This is my cocoa farm. Cocoa bean farm. I've probably got all the cocoa beans in the world because this just makes stupendous amounts of them. But if it still works, all I need to do is push that button. It'll shift these trees up and down and knock all the seeds off. Like that. Lots and lots of cocoa beans. So I can make cookies and I can just do this. Uh, restock them and once they've grown I can push the button again and get more just more I can get more more cookies <laughs> this might be the only one that still works <laughs> uh, 
Oh dear. Like that. And you always end up farming more um cocoa beans than you than you use. There are only three trees. Why did I do three when I could have done four? I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Oh, there was one just floating on that fence, apparently. Um, I might just throw the rest of these away. Wow. I just found out where I'm keeping my wheat seeds. <laughs> so, I was, I was going to go check the bloody, um, the bloody iron golem farm, wasn't I? See if that still works. Probably not. There are a few loose cows and pigs and chickens and stuff running around in here, but what I did is I cleared out a massive area. I think it's 150 by 150 blocks from the beacon, I think. And um, it's all lit up so nothing will spawn. The only place enemies can spawn is inside the mob spawner. Do you still work? I mean, there, it is making iron. I don't see any iron columns fall down, but uh, it's probably not very efficient. Like I say, this is a world that I built back before there were comparators in the game. So almost everything is broken. Oh, I don't think that's just after comparators were added to the game, maybe. Because some of my redstone inventions have comparators, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> it's my castle doors look. You can see where I've just chunked out as much as I can to stop enemies spawning. Such a great little door. I love those. I guess um, I'll wind down here. I, I I can just show you the mine with the basement and whatnot, where the um, where where the uh, slime farm is. And my horses, they have a nice little stable with a roof and food. And you guys all right? Yeah. Yeah, you're all right. Oh god, had a bit of a frame rate dip there. Let's go and uh, take you down into the basement. No more slimes have spawned. That's all right. Oh, uh, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Let's have a look. Wee! Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, my nether portal's down here. You can, you can see this place is like thoroughly dug out. Look, these underground walls go about as far as the walls on the outside do. Oh. Oh, these are the slimes, look. <laughs> All trying to fight each other to get up the ladder. But you can see, look. The big slimes spawn here. They jump into the... Um, into the water flow. If I can get round there to show you. There you go. You can see them down there. Sometimes the little ones get caught in it, but also they get cut down into the little slimes. And then the water pushes them up a series of ladders. So they end up here. You can see them, look. Bloop, bloop. Bloop. <laughs> they all just get washed upwards. And then they get they push each other up the ladder. I think they're trying to follow me at the moment, which is... What is this thing? Oh, that's more slime. They get pushed up the ladder. Whoop, like that. I think there's supposed to be a block back there, isn't there? 
Uh, hang on. I, I did that with the wrong tool, despite having the right tool. That's going to drive people up the bloody wall, isn't it? Um, I go... Like that. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. The water pushes them under that block and then they get bundled up here and push each other up the ladder. I think that's what's supposed to happen. Look at that. Is another one going to do it so I can see? Hey guys, get get pushed. Oi, get, get pushed. There you go, look. I don't think there's currently enough. It creates like a little traffic jam here and they all push each other through but where there's only one he's got he's got himself a little bit stuck poor little thing come on come on anyway so, dare i go down here and find out what's down here hmm that looks dark oh this is I guess an area where I can see them. I just saw one get pushed up the ladder there. Bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. What is all this that I've dug out here? This was obviously for some kind of project at some point that I just f completely forgot about when I moved on to a different game, so I have no idea what it is. And I remember getting lost as well quite a lot, so I put these red blocks down to show me the way back. <laughs> like, let's pop back upstairs. Whee! Chug, 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 chug. I'll just hop off it. Now, there should be a bunch of slime down here, up here. Some of them are still making their way up. I, again, it's not particularly efficient. Oh, look, I can see some of them back there, look. Hey, guys. Guys, I'm here. You want to come and get me? There was a time when putting slimes in water used to stick them to the ground. And it pushes them along the ground. Again, this is all packed ice here, so it makes it quicker. But now they come after the players instead of just hopping round randomly. I think that's, again, probably broken it a little bit. It still functions. It's just not particularly efficient. Like every bloody thing that I make. What's in here? Oh, wheat. All right, I'm just going to throw these in here then. Grab a stack of this and make some bread. Hey, uh, there we go. Oh, um, I was confusing myself then because I was trying to open. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to open a crafting table. That's what I was trying to do. Pop all that back in there. If I know that's not in the right place, it's going to drive me crackers. So. This is a game that makes me like really like pedantic, even more so than normal, and like makes me really OCD. Despite the fact I don't actually have OCD, I think that's it. I think that's a decent enough tour of my first world. It is bigger than that. There's a train track somewhere that takes you away down this huge rail to a completely different area. And, yeah, sorry, I got distracted. Lots of um, lots of stuff that I've not touched on for ages, but, again, like I say, I wanted to do a test to see how well this would run because people wanted me to live stream it, which I can do. But, uh, it... hey, who are you and what do you want? Oh, it's the Travelling Merchant. What does he want? An emerald for white dye? No. Emerald for fern, sugar cane. Blue ice? Is blue ice and packed ice the same thing, or is that just dyed ice? 
there's so many things in this now that I just don't know what they are. I guess he lives here now because he can't get out. He's surrounded by walls. Also, th there's a hell of a lot of squid here. <laughs> just an impromptu squid farm it's turned into. It's supposed to be a pond, but I never got round to making it look like one. Okay. What I'll do is... is uh... Oh, dear. I don't know if I've got any of my other worlds. Like, I used to have, like... This was First World. Imaginatively named. And then I had Second World and Third World. I think this is the only one that survives. And it <laughs> nothing works, but... There you go! I'll leave that here as a substitute video slash... Uh, <laughs> test video for... Minecraft, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. If you're new to the channel, um yeah, this is a this is a weird one to start with on my channel. I I wouldn't recommend starting with this one. I've got plenty of other videos that would be better for you, but um thank you everyone for watching. Sorry about the colony survival. Like I say, I'll endeavour to get that fixed tonight or tomorrow, and I'll um I'll return with it. So with all that being said, this is Minecraft. I'm Son of Mogef. This is Two Video Tuesday. This being the second video, I will see you soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow with Colonies of Art.